Join me as I take a neighborhood drive through of Red Point and Red Point Village Square in Summerlin. That's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my Summerlin series. And in this series, I like to talk a lot about Summerlin. As you guessed it, I am your local Summerlin expert. I know everything there is to know about Summerlin. Well, at least I think I know, <laughs> or I hope to know. Um, I've lived in Summerlin for over 11 plus years. I've lived in Vegas for 30 years, so I know the area very well. And I thought I'd do this video and I've done a Red Point video before, especially when Red Point first opened. So it's been some time since I've done a video on Red Point and now I want to show you the progress of this awesome new uh, community in Summerlin. Summerlin's been around for 31 years and they have another maybe 20 years left um, with 5,000 acres remaining. So right now Red Point and Red Point Square Village are part of Summerlin West and they're part of the new Summerlin West Gateway. Um, I found out that there is going to be an urban core off of the Summerlin Parkway where they're gonna have shopping amenities right there, super close to the Red Point Square Village. So we're gonna take a tour of Red Point first, go through all the new construction in that community, and then we're gonna go through Red Point Square. Red Point and Red Point Square are off of Far Hills and the 215. So Summerlin West will compromise 12 villages. All right, right now we already have the Vistas Village, the Paseos Village, Stonebridge Village, Red Point Village, Red Point Square Village. So we have five. That means that we have another seven more to go. So the other new villages that will be cropping up shortly or within the next 20 years, 15 years, who knows the rate that the construction's going. The next one's gonna be called Kestrel Commons and then Kestrel. And I bet you Kestrel Commons is gonna be like Red Point Square, where it's gonna be more like condominium townhomes. It's gonna center around the whole urban core. Um, then you have Braided Washes, Upper Brownstone Valley, Little Red Rocks, Grand Park and La Madre Rock. So those are future villages. Who knows when they're gonna be available? Uh, sometime in the near future. So in the Red Point Village, there are seven subdivisions. And the first one is Acadia Ridge by Toll Brothers, Carmel Cliff by Pulte Homes, Castellana by Taylor Morrison, Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes, Kings Canyon by TriPoint Homes, Overlook by TriPoint Homes and Savannah by Taylor Morrison. So as I said, we're gonna go through each of the builders and check it out and see the progress of the communities. See you guys on the flip side. So I just came off of Far Hills and I took a right on Sky Vista, which I'm heading north. And um, the first subdivision we're gonna go over is Carmel Cliff by Pulte Homes. Now this community has one and two story homes, four floor plans, 2851 to 4577 square feet from the mid 900s, four to six bedrooms, three and a half to six and a half bathrooms, a three to five car garage, and again, priced from the mid 900. So right there's the park. And this opened, you know, this is one of the newer ones. It's not complete and it's not gonna be done for another year or two. And um, Pulte has been releasing consistently lots. A lot of these lots right here to the right. Let's back up a little. These lots to the right, <laughs> believe it or not, and you can still have, I mean, you're gonna have some city views, but the lots to the right are actually gonna be, um, oh, let me see if you guys can see it right there. These lots to the right, those are around 400 to 500,000 lot premiums. Pretty crazy. I mean, you're gonna have some views of the city from the lower level, but you are not gonna have any views 
I mean, but you are going to have tons of views on the upper level. the homes some of them have already been built I don't think anyone's living in them just yet but look at the view I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of a hazy day today they're moving right along things are moving pretty fast here looks like they're maybe 10 to 12 feet apart distance wise Take a look. So here are the, the model homes right here. And then I like how they have this rock here. And then these lot premiums, I'm not sure how much they are at the moment. A lot of the ones that are in the outer rim over there are gonna be around 100,000. The ones that are in the inner side that don't have any views will be in the 30s to 40,000 lot premiums. Uh, but they're moving right along and selling pretty fast. This is what everyone wants, but if you want a view, you're gonna pay a pretty penny for it. This is how much they have left to go. Pretty wild. If you haven't seen already, I've done uh, videos on the three model homes. They have four model floor plans to choose from and I've done the three model home tour. So pay attention to that on my YouTube channel. So let's get back in the car and go check out what's next in this awesome Red Point Village. All right, see you guys on the flip side. Okay, let's roll. Roll with the punches. <laughs> oh, looks like we're gonna be driving through this community. It's just a dead end. It's a little bright out today. I was hoping it would be just a little overcast so I can make this video. But it's pretty well developed. These houses are huge. Sorry, that way you don't see a blur right there. Can you see that? See how close it is to Red Rock Mountain? It's gonna be beautiful views. They're gonna keep on building up over there. All right, so now on to the next one. So now we're taking a right on Red Point Drive. Wow. I'm going to get out and take a picture of this view. Wow. Just hold on one second. Okay, so here is Red Rock Drive or whatever drive this was. So this right here is the new tri-point community which will be king's canyon and overlook overlook is all single story homes and king's canyon is two story homes and i'm gonna once i get in the car i'm gonna go into detail but wow the city views are phenomenal so now we're 
to get into the new TriPoint um, community. And this one, they're not open just yet. They should be open next week. By the time you watch this, who knows? At the end of October. Um, so there's Overlook and then there's also Kings Canyon. Overlook is going to be all single story homes with three different floor plans to choose from. Um, ranging between 27, 22 square feet to 32, 45 square feet. Three to four bedrooms, two and a half to four and a half bathrooms, uh, two to three and a half car garage, and then anticipated pricing for the single stories are 800. So I'm gonna take a, a stop here. I'm not sure if this portion is gonna be the overlook with all the single stories or if it's going to be the King's Canyon with the two-story homes. It would make sense to have the two-story homes here and then overlook a little lower, but as soon as I learn and find out more information, I will let you know. So I'm gonna get out of the car and you know show you the views from here. Too bad it's a little some smog out today, but oh well, let's go take a look. Wow. It's gonna be pretty crazy. I mean, just beautiful. This is where I want to buy. Look at that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And this looks like the retaining wall. They're probably gonna have a paseo right here a walking path more than likely. And then I bet you these homes on this lot will have you fencing. I don't know what the lot premiums are gonna be. I'm so excited to find out more about this. I mean, just look at it. Beautiful. Alrighty. Let's go back to the El Caro, my Jeep Grand Cherokee and a Destroyer Gray. All right guys, see you guys on the flip side. Okay, that's fun. So we'll drive around the neighborhood and then I will probably should flip around because that way I can go around and take pictures of the model homes. We'll just drive through the community and then um, I'll show you the model homes, at least the outside of the model homes because they're not available just yet for viewing. Stay tuned. I will post videos of each of those model homes as soon as I can and as soon as those are available to view. But I mean, I think pretty much everywhere in this little section is going to have some phenomenal, I mean, psh, wow, I love it up here. Is that a dead end? Yippery, I'm going to flip around. So as you can see, they have that big stone wall that I was telling you about right there. Like they are getting ready with decor, getting ready to hopefully open the model home soon. I can't wait. Yep, they're getting it ready. It was supposed to be ready um, like mid October. Oh, that's a pretty driveway. And this is called that's the Kings Canyon collection, but it doesn't look like they're available just yet. I just can't wait till they release the prices. And this is the Overlook collection, which are all single story homes right out today. Super excited. Let's see.
So Kings Canyon, which will have one, they have four floor plans, one single story floor plan, and the square footage is between 2379 square feet to 3686 square feet with three to six bedrooms. Let's be careful. Two and a half to three and a half, I mean, two and a half to five and a half bathrooms, two to four car garage, and the anticipated pricing for this one is from the 700s. Again, it's anticipated. Who knows what it's going to actually be once they finally release these homes. Uh, and again, I'm not sure if this one will be Kings Canyon or Overlook uh, because there's another lot plot. I'll show you guys. I mean, right here to the left, you can't see it. Let me record it. I mean, eventually right here to the left, there'll be some stuff. I mean, Summerlin has a long ways to go and they're moving pretty fast. And then right here to the right, whoops. Right here to the right is I think gonna be either Kings Canyon or Overlook. I'll find out more once I get invited because I do have I do have clients that are uh, part of the VIP group for this community. So as soon as I find out, I will definitely post information about it. So now the next community is we're gonna keep on going and we're gonna go like in a zigzag in order all through Red Point and then we'll go through Red Point Square. So we're gonna go off of Fox Hill next, take a right right here. And this one uh, that we're gonna be coming up should be, yeah should be Costalana by Taylor Morrison. And they just recently opened up a couple months back. I have clients buying in this community and it's all two story homes. Sorry, I need to fix that. They're all two story homes. Let me see, there's four different floor plans to choose from between 2,080 square feet to 2,662 square feet. And their lot premiums are not that expensive. I think this is, you get more bang for your buck in this community. They got the largest model, which was the Sequoia model. Um, they, they don't even have the model homes yet on display. So we're just gonna briefly go through it. It's gonna be a little bumpy. <laughs> Good thing I got a Jeep. And their home will be done in January. And I do believe they have some standing inventories left and they have lots left. So the floor plans here uh, are gonna be three to six bedrooms, two to three baths and a half bath with a two car garage and they're priced from the mid 500. So these are very reasonable price and you get some big homes. And I like Taylor Morrison, formerly known as William Lyon Homes. Um, so sorry if this is a little bumpy, <laughs> but we are in a construction zone. And I did a video tour of a frame walkthrough of my client's home. Uh, it's all the way down there, the last house. I'm not gonna go up, but you get the gist of it. These are all just two story homes. And had other clients possibly interested in one of these lots, but I don't think they're gonna go for it. It's hard to buy a home when there's no models to look at. I understand that. Um, and I don't even know when the model homes are gonna be ready in this community or in this like subdivision. So we shall see how this further progresses because they're still selling without even models. <laughs> Pretty great, Craig. But again, for the value, this is a very good community to be in Summerlin. And the nice thing is their house, whoops, let's just not go that way. Their house is uh, backs up to Far Hills, which is cool because they have no one behind them. And Far Hills is not gonna be a very heavily trafficked, trafficked, can't even say that word, road. So now we're gonna be heading to for Far Hills. Can't speak today, it's a Sunday beautiful out, enjoying this beautiful weather. What did that say? Overheating, fuck. These cameras, I swear they don't do well. All right, I'm going to stop and switch that to my GoPro. That way it doesn't overheat. OMG, technical difficulties. Problem with GoPro and I have a DJ Osmo action. 
they overheat and it's beeping at me. What's going on? I couldn't handle the, can I handle it? I want you to fucking record. Use my French. <laughs> All right, let's see if I'm gonna be able to do this in one sitting. I don't need to buy a bunch of different GoPros just to film this. I guess because it is kind of hot on the windshield and so the cameras are overheating. But now we're gonna take a left on, I think it's Desert Foothills. I can't read because I don't have my sunglasses on. Yes, Desert Foothills. It's a way of telling me you need to hurry up, make this video and not stop. Well, pretty much, I'm just gonna go through the communities and not stop like I was with the other two. Um, now we're going into Savannah, which is an all single story community. And I'm not sure what the HOAs for each of these communities are, and they're all gated. But Summerlin West HOA is going to be $48. I used to know that information, and shame on me for not providing the most accurate information on this channel. But Savannah is all single story, and they have seven floor plans to choose from, ranging between 1981 and 2574 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two to three bathrooms, a half bath, two to three car garage, priced in the low 600s. So yeah, I mean, they've been around for about a year now. So they're almost, they probably have, they still got a little ways to go. I don't know how much more they have, but they still have a little bit to go. And I've been pushing and pushing. I love this community. I mean, single story community, which is rare. Three car garage, rare. Come on, let's buy in this community. <laughs> I love their floor plans too. The sunflower is my favorite floor plan. Um, and the violet's nice. I mean, all of them are really nice. I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. Alrighty. Sorry. Let's see if this is done overheating. See, that's my DJ Osmo action. Then I got a GoPro 9 Hero the other day. Then the 10 came out. I should have just waited a couple more weeks, but um, I like doing these videos. So now I'm just gonna take pictures of the houses for you in this community. Let's see. I built up. I mean, I remember when I first did my Red Point video, I don't think any of this was here. It's grown so fast. I have a nice little community park too. A little picnic area. already living in here. That's awesome. I'm going to flip a B, video some of these houses. That way the sun is not shining bright on me. I think they are um, working on the second phase of this community. Right, moving forward, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do the Red Point Square Village. Uh, that will be another day's video. 
because uh, yeah it's taking a little longer than I thought I'm being a little more thorough which is good I like talking to myself or to you guys <laughs> so onward forward motion we're just gonna go zigzagging all the way down until we can't go anymore let's see how that is going all right we're gonna go back on red point drive so just north of red point is the red point square village so it's it's if we're going down it's to the left so we're doing the other side of red point OMG, <laughs> technology is not what it's cracked up to be. I got this new little suction cup thingy to hold my iPhone and it just crashed on me. I'm like, this is a sign that I shouldn't be doing this video. I need to hurry up because I will not be able to, like I said, to do the red point square because cameras aren't lasting long. Things are falling apart, just awful. All right, so we're gonna go take a right off of, I can't read. Rich Pine Street. Oof. Okay, here we go. Finally. I gotta hurry this shit up. All right, so now we're approaching Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes. And they have two different collections here. They have a single story collection and a two story collection. And the single story collection, there's three floor plans to choose from. And let me see where are we at. All right, so three floor plans, um, 1650 square feet to 1828 square feet, two to three bedrooms, two to three and a half bathrooms, two car garage, priced in the high 500. So this is a little more affordable. Um, and they were selling pretty fast. Now I'm actually going through the two story collection. And that one is um, three floor plans, 2325 square feet to 2395 square feet, three to five bedrooms, two and a half to four and a half car garage, whoops, three to five bedrooms, two and a half to four and a half bathrooms, two car garage, Price from the high 500s. So the outer edge has the two story homes and the inner edge has the single story homes, which doesn't make sense. It would have been smarter if they put the single stories on the outer edge because I don't know, you can see from the other way. Oh, it looks like they did some single story homes here. It's been a while since I've driven through here when it's all done. They're just moving right along. I mean, I remember last year. Before they even opened last year, I think in November, they already sold like 13 lots. So it's kicking right along. I don't think they have very much left in this community. Yeah, so to the right is two story, to the left is single story. It's just weird. They should have just kept all the single story on one part of the community and all the two story on this other part of the community. Kind of like what over there in um, Sky Canyon, the Mott Rose collection and the Vista Rosa collection, they're by Toll Brothers. Some are single story, some are two story.
Alrighty, it's time to get out of this one. Again, all the neighborhoods here are going to be gated and they're gonna have two HOAs. Um, each of them will have the subdivision HOA and the other will have the Summerlin West HOA. So we only have one more little subdivision left in the Red Point Village, and that is Acadia Ridge by Toll Brothers. And it's right here. So Acadia Ridge by Toll Brothers, they started selling before the models were even ready as well, and they were selling like hotcakes. I remember at the beginning, it was so hard to get a lot. I've had so many clients, but then their lot premiums are pretty penny as well. They're pretty high. Um, let's go this way. So basically, let's flip my sheet of paper. Uh, so there's gonna be one and two story homes and how they design this is you can buy the single story or you can buy the elite version of that single story where there would be added square footage on the second story, another room or two and a loft. Um, so there's seven floor plans, whoops, wrong one. There's six floor plans. You have the three single story and then you have the three single story with the elite option, um, ranging between 2002 square feet to 2824 square feet, three to five bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, two car garage, priced from the high 600s. Now, when they first came out, again, the lot premiums were extremely, extremely high and people were like, what? Some were buying it, some weren't. Now, to the right, anything on this side of the road is gonna be all single story. You're not allowed to do the two story option just because that way it doesn't blockade the homes that are gonna go right there so they have views. So uh, yeah, any homes facing west, no, east facing, will be single story and any homes west facing will be the two story homes. So the, the two story homes will have views. Now in Summerlin, they say they don't sell you the views. They, um, they can't guarantee views because of future construction, but yet you're still paying a pretty penny for those views. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure when you are at the top of your home in one of your bedrooms, if you get a balcony, if they allow it, um, then obviously you're going to have um, views. So again, Summerlin always says they can't guarantee views, even though you're going to be paying a fortune for the uh, lot premiums. And now with Toll Brothers, when you buy with Toll Brothers, their build time is 12 months, unlike a lot of the other builders where their build time is a lot uh, shorter. Well guys, well guys, that concludes my neighborhood drive through tour of the newest village in Summerlin called Red Point Village. Stay tuned where I will be doing just another neighborhood tour of Red Point Square. I was going to do it all in one day, however it looks like, like I had mentioned it throughout this video, my DJ Osmo Action and my GoPro Hero 9 are kind of not liking me recording. Let me just 
go through the rest and just kind of drive out this community or neighborhood and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Stay tuned. And I'm going to also be doing a Stonebridge one as well with all the builders. I feel it's very important that the more knowledge you have, the better equipped you are as a buyer here in the Las Vegas Valley. And my goal is to pro try to provide as much accurate information as I can, especially when it comes to Summerlin. I like to think that I am your Summerlin expert. I am your new home sales expert. And if you're thinking about buying in Summerlin or selling, you can call me at 702-370-5112. As always, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And thank you so much for watching. See you guys on the flip side.